In this setup, the boxes and game chips have been placed on the scales and the scales zeroed so that the force of gravity related to their mass has been canceled out of the system. We'll now weigh the wooden beam that has the large magnet on it on top of a single scale and record the number the scale registers. We'll now see what two scales register when we distribute its weight across both of them. Notice that the left scales reading added to the right scales reading approximately equals the single scale reading. The downward force from its entire weight is now being distributed across both scales. We'll now zero out the force of gravity on both of these scales that is from this beam. To do that, you may need to turn the scale on and off rather than just tar it. Now we'll remove this beam and place it to the side. Now we'll place the large block with the small magnet on it on the middle scale. It registers a force of gravity related to its mass. We'll now zero that force of gravity out so that any additional forces on the system reflect pushes or pulls in addition to the force of gravity. Take the beam with the large magnet facing downward and center it above the small magnet on the block. The lines on the beam and the block allow us to ensure that it's centered. Let's record the forces that are reported on each scale. The middle scale has a negative number reported, which indicates an upward force on the system. The left and right scales have positive numbers reported on them. This indicates that there is an additional downward force on the beam that is being distributed across both these scales. Compare the numbers on the left and right scale to the middle scale. What do you notice? 